yeah, I definitely wake up with a sore throat or a cough. I just woke up with congestion and yeah, I started coughing. OU students telling us their dorms are literally making them sick. And tonight, a former student saying the problem has been going on for years. Well, now she's suing. News Force Kaylee Olivas is back at OU tonight. This toxicology report from three years ago shows a former Walker resident had chemicals caused by mold exposure in her body. Now she blames the university and is suing them, hoping to hold the college accountable as well as protect those students still living inside. I went into my bathroom. I saw the mold on my ceiling and throughout the bathroom. Former Walker resident Sarah Melton says she had been experiencing a series of health issues since moving in in 2018, but she thought it was just a prolonged cold. It depends on how allergic they are to whatever the substance is that they might be getting exposed to. So that could go anywhere from respiratory problems like asthma, cough, drainage, stuffy nose, itchy, watery eyes. So she immediately got tested. These two toxicology reports showing chemicals in her bloodstream, all produced by mold and water damaged buildings. Really what it boils down to is the health and safety of students, you know, and I felt like they were failing me, but they were also failing the rest of the students. Um, that lived in those dorm towers. Since then, the college has installed devices in Walker and Couch residence halls designed to eliminate bacteria and fungi, saying earlier this week, OU has taken steps to ensure residence halls meet the highest standards of cleanliness. But Melton says it's not enough, and so she filed a civil relief lawsuit in 2021. The university tells News 4, quote, we are aware of the suit and are responding as appropriate. There needs to be some sort of accountability and that is truly all I've ever wanted out of this. In Norman, Kaylee Olivas, Oklahoma's News 4. We asked the university a dozen questions. They only fully answered two of them. We'll have the articles we were referred to on our website along with the questions that were asked.